गाइज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल आई जी टेक टीम टू लर्न अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कोडिंग एंड देन प्रेस बेल आइकन सो डेट यू कैन गेट डेली नोटिफिकेशन हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू सो वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई जी टेक टीम दिस वीडियो इज फॉर पाइथन प्रोग्रामर गाइज आई विल गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन इफ यू कैन सॉल्व डेट क्वेश्चन पॉज द वीडियो एंड सॉल्व इट इफ नॉट आई विल डू द कोड एंड एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू सो गाइज विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट First of all I give you a very simple question and then I will move to little bit harder. So guys, first question. Very simple question. Program to add two integer numbers. If you can solve this question, pause the video and solve it. Okay. I hope you have solved this question. If not, don't worry guys, I will make you clear. First of all, I will make one function. Def addition and uh, i have to pass two number here suppose a and b and then i will return a plus b now i take uh, input from user two input so i write norm1 equals to this is first input and this is second input and i have to convert this input into integer value and also this one also integer value now i have to call this function so i have to write addition and i have to pass num1 and dom2 and then i will print this statement guys if you want to solve this question without making function you can do it but uh, it is very practical and good way to make function return value and call the function so if i execute this code now my execution will be in this statement or this line so suppose i will provide 5 then now my execution will be in this statement now i will provide suppose 10 and then if i press enter then it will execute this line of code and it will call this function addition and it will pass num1 and num2 in this function so now a equals to norm1 and b equals to norm2 and it will return a plus b and it will print my statement so now if i press enter it will return 15 5 plus 10 equals to 15 so this is how you can add to integer numbers using python i hope you have understood it and uh, so guys move to next question this is also very simple question write a code that takes a number as an input and returns the square of the provided number suppose if you provide 10 then your output should be 100 10 into 10 or 10 multiplied by 10 equals to 100 so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys i will do the code now So just like is above, I will make one function called square, and I will pass one parameter, and then I have to write norm multiply by norm, or I can simply write norm double multiply two. This both are same, so you can either write norm multiply by norm, or you can write norm. double multiply 2 means this means square to norm to the power of 2 so i will add comment so this is how you can make function of square and then i have to take a number from user int input and then just like is above i will call this function square and i will pass number You can write another uh, name, another variable here. Suppose if I write num one, then uh, you have to pass num one here also. So it is your choice. So now if I press shift enter, means if I execute this code, and if I write ten here, then my output will be hundred. 
and now if I write uh, return norm double multiply by 2 and then if I execute this code if I give 10 then my output will be 100 so both of them are same so guys I hope you have understood it and guys I will move to next question program to calculate area of circle and the formula to calculate area of circle is pi r square so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry i will make you clear i will make one function def suppose area of circle and then I will pass radius here and I have to return pi the value of pi is 3.14 so the value of this pi is 3.14 and then I have to multiply by radius two times so radius multiply by radius and then I will take input from user in integer type input and then I will call this function area of circle and I will pass r here then I will print the answer so if I execute this code and if I write 5 here then it will return 78.5 bot guys if I execute this code and if I write 5.5 then it will throw me error because my this function this statement takes integer value not decimal value so if i want to take a decimal value i have to write float here decimal type float and if i press shift enter or if i execute this code and if i write 5.5 it will return me answer 94.985 you can uh, check this value in calculator 3.14 multiply by 5.5 multiply by 5.5 equals to 94.985 so this is how you can calculate area of circle so this is function this is the input from user and this is the print statement and this is the calling of function i hope you have understood it and guys then i will move to next question write a program to calculate the interest amount when time is 7 weeks interest rate is 3% and principal amount is 10,000 and you have formula to calculate interest amount i equals to p multiply p multiply r means principal multiply time multiply rate by 100 so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it ok i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry I will do the code now so guys to solve this question first of all I should have three value time interest rate and principal amount to calculate interest so I will write comment here I have this principal amount P equals to 10,000 and then I have time T equals to 7 weeks 7 weeks but I have to convert this weeks into year so I have to write 7 divided by 52 year so you have to convert week into year and uh, if I write how to convert week into year guys you know in one year there are 365 days days and uh, in one week there are 7 days so you have to we multiply 365 by 7 weeks and it will nearly equal to 52 52 so one year one year equals to 52 week nearly so we have to multi we have to divide uh, this weeks by 52 and then next we have rate rate equals to 3 percentage 3 
Now just like this above, I will make one function def suppose interest and then I have to pass three value suppose ptr ptr and then I have to return p multiply by t multiply by r by 100 now I will not take uh, input from the user because we have already input 7, 10 and 3 percent so I will directly call this function print interest I will pass p as 10,000 and time is 7 by 52 and then rate is 3 divided by 100 so now guys when I execute this code it will call this function p equals to 10,000 t equals to this and r equals to 3 and it will return my answer as p multiplied by t multiplied by r by 100 so if I execute this code it will give me answer 40 point something 3 8 4 6 like this so in this way you can solve interest amount so you have to remember one point this p should be in rs amount and then the this t equals tt in year and this rate should be in percentage so you have to remember this point and guys i hope you have understood this question so i will move to next question write a program to find a maximum among three numbers using function so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys i will do the code now i will make one function def maximum and then i have to pass three value here three parameter abc and in python I can directly write max function to find maximum value. So I will write return max function. So we have max function in Python. Now I can pass directly this ABC. So it will return maximum value among ABC. And then uh, I will take input from user. I will take integer value. Int, you can take also floating point value or decimal value, your choice. But now I will take integer value and b equals to suppose means i will take input from user b and then c equals to int input and then i'll print this function i will call this function maximum and i will pass three value abc so this is my input from user three input and then it will uh, call my function abc and it will return me the maximum value among abc so now if i execute this code suppose i will write 6 and then 2 and then 14 so my maximum value will be 14 and uh, suppose 0 and then 4 and then uh, minus 1 so my maximum value will be 4 so this is how you can calculate or you can find the maximum among three numbers using function. So you can directly use this max function in python. So guys, I hope you have understood this question. And guys, next question. Write a program to find the sum of the numbers till n, where n is the natural number entered by user. So guys, if you give 5, then it should return 15. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals to 15. And if you give 10 as input, then your output will be 55. Means from you have to add from 1 to 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to 10 and your output should be 55. So guys, if you can solve this question, pause the video and solve it. Okay. I hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys i will do the code now i will make fun song now def suppose result and i have to pass one parameter over here and then 
So first I will initialize one variable as zero, and then I will open one for loop. So to define for loop in Python, I have to write for i in range function. Suppose num plus one, and then I have to write a equals to a plus one, and finally I have to return a. So guys, if I give five as the input. So my norm equals to five, and I have a equals to zero. So for i in range norm plus one means it will uh, initially my i equals to first zero, and then one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five. Norm plus one means it will execute, it will run my code up to only norm. Norm plus one minus one time means uh, zero, one, two, three, or five. So first of all, my i will be zero. So a equals to zero plus one. This one equals to one, and then next time one plus this i equals to two, so one plus two, and then next time my i equals to three, so result of this plus three, so in this way it will uh, do the same operation. And if I give ten uh, as input, then it will uh, add my number from one to ten, so it will give me answer fifty five. Or also you can write in this way. A plus equals to one. So this is same as uh, this statement. A equals to a plus one. And then uh, I have to take input from the user. Norm equals to int input. And then I will print the result. Okay. So this is my function. So it will return me this value. And I will take input from the user, and I will call this function, and I will print the result. So, guys, I hope you have understood this question. So now, if I execute this code, so if I write five year, sorry, it will return me six. I will check this code. Sorry, I have to write a plus i year. Okay, now if I execute this code, if I write five year, it will return me fifteen, and uh, if I write ten year. It will return fifty-five. So, guys, initially my a equals to zero. So, a equals to zero, and next time my i will be one. So, it will add one, and then uh, next time i will be two. So, it will add two, and then next time i will be three, and three like this. Equals to fifteen. If I write five as input. So guys, I hope you have understood this question, and then I will move to next question. So, write a program to take input from the user. If user enter one, it should automatically open YouTube. If user enter two, it should automatically open Facebook, and if user enter three, it should automatically open Gmail. So guys, if you can solve this question, pause the video and solve it. Okay, I hope you have solved this question. If not, don't worry, I will do the code now. So this is a simple, little bit tricky question. I will first, I have to first import web browser. So I will write import web browser. This here browser, and then. I have to open YouTube, Facebook, and Gmail. So I have to write uh, web browser dot open www dot youtube dot com. In the same way, I have to write dot open Facebook dot com. And in the same way, I have to write. Gmail dot com, but I have to open YouTube if user press user enter one, and I have to open Facebook if user enter two, and I have to open Gmail if user enter three. So first of all, I will take input from the user. Suppose the key equals to input. Now I will not change this into integer. 
if I write uh, now one year, then my one will be a string, not integer. This is a one. This one means integer, and this one means a string. So you have to remember this point. And then, since my number is a string, I have to write if key equals to in uh, quotation mark one. If key equals to one, I have to write double equals to year. Means if uh, I give one as input, string one as input, I have to open YouTube. And if user give uh, key equals to two, you have to open Facebook in the same way. If key equals to three, you have to open Gmail. So, guys, you have to put a space in uh, here. This is called identification. There are four space. One, one, two, three, four. So you have to give four spaces. This means this is inside this block, if block. So this is called indentation. This is space called indentation. And now I will execute this code. So shift enter. If I press one year, enter. Let's see what happens. It will automatically open YouTube. Okay. So it will automatically open my YouTube and now guys if I give it to as input to it should automatically open Facebook. So this is my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page and now guys if I give three as input it should automatically open Gmail. So this is my Gmail. So it will automatically open Gmail. So guys, this is how you can open up YouTube, Facebook and Gmail. So you have to input first web browser and this is the input from user. If user give one, string one. It will automatically open YouTube. If user give two, it will automatically open Facebook. And if user give three, it will automatically open Gmail. So guys, I hope you have understood this question. If not, guys, please do comment. I will explain you in comment. And guys, I will move to next question now. So guys, write a program to take sentence from the user as input. In output, you have to remove all white spaces and make first character as lowercase and all other as uppercase. So you can see here, if you give input as hello world, so this is space, white space and uh, you have to make uh, this first character of uh, word should be, it, it should be lowercase means small letter and uh, other should be upper letter means capital. So guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it. Okay I hope you have solved this question if not now I will do the code. So I will make one function and I will give the function name is okay same function and then suppose I will take input from the user so input so I will take sentence or string from the user and then I have to remove white spaces this space so I can simply write string equals to string dot I can use a replace method I have to remove this space by this so this is space and this is not space so you have to write like this string dot replace this string means input from the user you have to replace space by you have to delete this space so in this way you can uh, remove your white space and then I can simply return a string of zero character means your you can see here make first character is lowercase so you have to write this is first character so string zero dot lower lower 
and then uh, you can write a string from one to all other so from this one to every word it should be uppercase dot upper so this is called slicing i hope you know about slicing so this string zero means the first character of word and this string from one to this colon means one to all so from here to here so this will be upper and first character should be lower now i will just print the function means i will call the function and i will print my answer so guys if i execute this code and if i write same input h e l l o w o r l d so my output will be hello world so this is small case and this all are upper case and there is no any white spaces so now if i write suppose my name is sir gautam and if i write if i press enter so you can see here this is only lower case and this all are upper case so guys this is one function it will take input from the user and uh, you have to replace space it means you have to delete this space and you have to make your first character of your string as a lower case and uh, all other case all, all other characters will be upper case and you have to concatenate your string so to concatenate your skin sorry string you have to write plus and it will call your function and it will print your answer so guys i hope you have understood this so i will move to now next question write a program to take sentence from the user as input in output you have to print the number of vowel letter in dictionary so this is dictionary dictionary has key and value pair so this is key and this is value so this is a dictionary and uh, if you give input is hello world so you can count a a e i o u means vowel letter so there are no any a so it will return 0 e 1 i 0 o there are two o so 2 u 0 so this is um, you have to calculate or you have to count the number of vowel letter in dictionary means you have to print your output in dictionary so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys i will make you clear now i will write one function so suppose def function name suppose logic and i will pass input so my input and then suppose i will make one dictionary count equals to so this is dictionary dictionary should be in curly braces curly bracket and initially a equals to 0 b sorry e equals to 0 i equals to 0 a i o sorry o equals to 0 and u equals to also 0 so this is initial value so and this is in dictionary and uh, suppose i have to now i now i will use for loop so for character in my input my input if my character in count so i will make it clear don't worry guys i have to increase my count count plus equals to 1 and finally i will return count so now guys suppose if i give hello world as input initially my count my dictionary will be a0 means this is all a initial value and if for char in my input means initially char equals to y and then e and then l and then l and then o like this hello world so if you give hello world as input so initially char equals to y and then e and then l and then l and no like this so if char in count means if y is present in this count 
so now h is not presented and next time my car will be e so if e in count yes e is in count then it will increase my e equals to 1 means car count means it will increase my char character of e equals to initially e equals to 0 plus 1 equals to 1 so it will increase my this value as 1 and like this it will uh, count my all vowel letter from the my output from my input and it will return this dictionary count so guys this is the logic of logic behind this question now i will take input from the user so my input equals to input and uh, just like as above I will call logic and then I will pass my input so guys now if I execute this code and if I write same input yes e l l o w o r l d so there is some mistake a state object is not callable so I will check this okay sorry I have to remove this parenthesis I will give this input so now if I execute this code I have to write two parentheses here and shift enter okay if I write hello world yes e l l o w o r l d okay sorry I have to write care here c s a r care so my character this care is e so I have to write count care plus equals to 1 ok I will check now also so if I write hello world ok so a0 e1 i0 o2 u0 but this is still now incomplete suppose if I write a a small a and capital a so it should return me a equals to 2 because I have 2 input 2a if I press enter it will return me only 1a so I have to deal with this also so first I have to convert my this uh, input into lower case so I will write here my input my input equals to my input dot lower now if i give a a so you can see here now if i give a a as input it will first convert my input as a a small a so now if i execute this and if i write a a you can see here there are two a now i can write any string here my name is so gautam so it will return me a equals to four times e equals to one i equals to two O equals to 0 and u equals to 1 so guys this is one function so initially my dictionary is empty means my in dictionary is filled up by 0 and uh, I have to convert my input into lowercase and for char in input means char equals to one time yes e l l o like this one character at a time and if my character is uh, already in this count it will increase my this value by 1 if not it will do nothing and finally it will return this dictionary so it will uh, take input from the user and it will call my function so guys I hope you have understood this so now I will move to next question write a program to check whether the number is arm strong or not using function so guys what is arm strong number you can see here if user give 370 then 3 cube plus 7 to the power of cube plus 0 to the power of cube equals to same number 370 so this is arm strong number and uh, if you give 371 then if you cube this all up digit 3 to the power of cube plus 7 to the power of 3 and 1 to the power of 3 it will return same 371 and if you give 407 as input so 4 to the power of 3 plus 0 to the power of 3 plus 7 to the power of 3 will be 4 and 7 so these are called arm strong number so you have to 
check whether the number is unmistakable or not using font song. So guys, how can you do this? If you can solve this question, pause the video and solve it. Okay, I hope you can you have solved this question. If not, don't worry guys, I will do the code now. I will write one font song def arm strong and uh, I will pass input param parameter as a num and then uh, suppose I will initialize som equals to zero and then uh, I will write temp equals to num so uh, means num equals to temp so both of these uh, variables have the same digit and then uh, I will start one one while loop so while norm isn't equal to zero i will make it clear guys don't worry and i have to write a digit equals to norm modulo 10 10 norm equals to norm divided by 10 and then sum equals to sum plus digit to the power of 3 this is very tricky question guys if temp temp equals equals to sum i can simply print this is arm strong number and else i have to print this is not arm strong number so guys if i give suppose 370 300 370 so sum equals to 0 and then again temp equals to temp temp equals to same 370 now while this uh, norm is not equal to 0 i have to do this operation so digit equals to norm modulo 10 means this plus value 0 so it will return 0 and it will uh, do this operation num divided by 10 and sum equals sum plus digit to the power of 3 so guys uh, this one problem if i give uh, num divided by 10 it will return me decimal value but if i write a double uh, forward slash it will tell me only integer value so if my answer will, will be suppose uh, 3.33 it will return me just 3 now if i write double uh, forward slash so guys uh, this is very difficult to make you clear but uh, this is the code to find Armstrong number you can check by yourself you can uh, put uh, 370 you can um, do this operation in your copy so uh, 370 modulo 10 this means reminder reminder and this means integer division integer division and this is the same uh, operation plus n to the power of 3 so uh, this is very difficult me to understand you guys so you can do this in copy by yourself and uh, if this temp this in this temp equals equals to num equals equal to sum so finally your sum will be same number 370 if your uh, provided number provided input is armstrong number so if temp equals equal to sum it will return armstrong number otherwise it will return not armstrong number so now I will take input from the user num equals to int input and uh, I will call font song I'm strong and I will provide I will pass this num so guys I think it will it should work let me check so now if I give uh, suppose 370 370 okay this is wrong int object argument of this must be mapping not integer let me check guys okay i have one mistake here i have to write this parenthesis over here so this is digit to the power of three sum plus digit to the power of three okay this is my mistake so if i again execute this code and if i write 370 so yes this is arm strong number and uh, my next arm strong number is 371 so if i write 371 so this is also arm strong number 
if i print suppose 3 to the power of 3 i will write param parameter over here parenthesis so 3 to the power of 3 plus uh, 7 to the power of 3 plus and 1 to the power of 3 and if i execute this code so it will be 371 so guys you have to remember this point so this is armstrong number and now again if i write here 407 407 so this is also armstrong number but suppose if i write here 2 means 372 it is other than 372 so this is not my armstrong number so if i write here suppose 372 so this is not my armstrong number not armstrong number so this is how you can find whether the number is arm strong or not so guys i hope you have understood this question and guys now i will move to next question write a program to check whether a number is palindrome or not so guys what is palindrome number so these are called palindrome number you can either read from right side or from left from left side or from right side your uh, you means your input will be same so from 141 and then also 141 you can see from here or from here so 34743 if you can you, if you read from here 34743 and if you read from this side so 34743 so both of them are same number so this is palindrome non palindrome number so you can see here this 3 and this 3 is equal this 3 and this 3 are equal this 7 and this 7 equal this 4 and this 4 are equal so this is palindrome number so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys now i will make you clear so i will define one function so this is uh, same as just like as this code so i will write one function called palindrome number p a l i n d r o m e palindrome i will pass number so just like as above i will write sum equals to 0 and temp equals to same number and i will open one while loop so while while num equal is not equal to 0 digit equals to num modulo 10 num modulo 10 so this is reminder and num equals to num this is a decimal division and this is integer division and then so this from uh, so these all are same now i have to change the uh, statement in this line of code so the sum equals to sum equals to now i have to write sum multiply by 10 plus digit plus digit so guys if temp equals to equals to sum it should return me palindrome number and the arrow me palindrome number else not palindrome number now guys so you can see here if i give suppose uh, this number 141 141 is palindrome number so sum equals to 0 initially temp equals to same number 141 so i will open one while loop so if dot if digit is equals to norm modular 10 means this is the way to calculate reminder initially my digit will be 1 and then my digit will be 4 and then my digit will be 1 so in this way it will work and then it is a integer division integer division so these all are the way to calculate to find whether the number is palindrome or not so guys uh, you can check uh, this code by writing in your copy so this is also very difficult for me to explain you guys but uh, 
you have to change in this line of code only to check whether the number is palindrome or whether the number is armstrong or not so other are same now if i write here means i have to take input from the user int input and i have to call function palindrome l i n d r o m e palindrome so i think it is fine so if i press shift enter and if i write same number 141 141 so this is my palindrome number and also suppose i will write 34743 34743 So this is also palindrome number means this number and this number are same this number and this number are same and 7 is also same now if i write here anything any number so this is not palindrome number so guys this is how you can calculate or you can check whether a number is palindrome or not so to calculate arm is strong and to calculate palindrome is a little bit similar means more similar Well, only this line of code is different. So here, sum equals to sum plus digit to the power of three, and here, sum equals to sum multiplied by ten plus digit. So guys, you can practice this question by yourself, and you will find what is the difference between arm strong and palindrome number. Now, guys, I hope you have understood this question. Now I will move to next question. write a program to transpose a matrix so guys to deal with matrix this is very important question in both uh, in any language c c++ python so you have to work with matrix so guys uh, next question is write a program to transpose a matrix so what is transpose matrix means so if your input is 6 7 8 11 to 10 transpose matrix means 6 7 8 and 11 to 10 means uh This is a two by three, and this is three by two matrix. So, guys, if you can solve this question, pause the video and solve. Okay, I hope you have solved this question. If not, don't worry, guys. I will do the code now. So, guys, uh, first of all, I have to mention or uh, I have to take input from the user the dimension of this matrix. So the dimension or order of this matrix is two by three means two row and three column. So I have to take input from the user. Enter the order of matrix in the form. Suppose x multiply by y. So you have to give input in this form. X multiply by multiply by y. And uh, I will write suppose both two number here. So and I have to split this number. I have to split by multiply. So what is this? You should uh, give input in this form. Suppose uh, this is two by three matrix. So two multiply by three. Then this split function split your number into two part. One split by this multiply. This multiply. So it will split two and it will store in this i and it will split three and it will store in this j. So now i equals to two and j equals to three. So enter the order of matrix in the form y x multiply by y. If you write here suppose a comma, you have to pass comma here because you have because now you will give two comma three as input and it will split your input in two parts. One is two and other is three. So this is the way. So I will write into here. Now, guys, I will take input from the user, the element of matrix. So I can write print enter element of matrix matrix one element at a time at a time and row by row. And uh, slash n means to break the code or um, to move in next line. And then suppose I have one empty list, so this is a list. 
डिक्शनरी इज इन कॉली ब्रैकेट एंड लिस्ट इज इन स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट एंड देन फॉर ए इन रेंज इंटीजर ऑफ आई सो दिस इज इन स्ट्रिंग नाउ आई हैव टू डू द लूप फ्रॉम जीरो टू दिस इंटीजर ऑफ आई वैल्यू सो इफ आई इफ माय आई इक्वल टू टू सो माय ए इक्वल टू नाउ जीरो एंड वन मींस लेस देन टू नाउ गाइस सपोज आई हैव अनदर वन इम्पीटी लिस्ट आई विल मेक अ क्लियर गाइस डोंट वरी एंड देन आई हैव टू राइट फॉर बी इन रेंज इंटीजर ऑफ जे एंड देन I will append append my input. So guys, what is this? So initially, my i will be two and my j will be three. So it will print inter elementary matrix one element of at a time and row by row. So first of all, I will give six as input. So it will append initially list is empty. List is empty, so it will append for six, and then next time I will give this seven, so it will append seven, and next time I will give eight, and then it will append eight to this list, and finally I will append all this row in this matrix. So I will write here mat dot append list, and next time. My a equals to one, so it will uh, again uh, assign my list as empty, and then it will do the same uh, job for this row also. And finally, it will append my this uh, row to this matrix also. So finally, my matrix will be like this in two dimensional array. So six, seven, eight, and then. Eleven, two, ten. So, guys, this is the way to take input from the user. So, my initially my list is empty, and I will uh, take input from the user. First time six, and then seven, and then eight. Then uh, my list is complete. One list is complete. Finally, it will append my this whole list. In this matrix, and for next time, it will also append eleven, two, and ten to list, and finally, it will append this list to this matrix. Now, guys, to transpose matrix, suppose I will write one message: transpose matrix is. Suppose I have one empty list. And then uh, for B in range, I have to replace this loop for B and then then a loop to transpose the matrix. So for B in range, integer of J, and then list equals to this for A in range, integer of I, I have to append. My input. I have to append matrix A, comma B, and then finally I have to append same list. So guys, you have to replace this line of code, uh, this statement, this for loop by this for loop, and uh, this for loop by this for loop. So you have to replace these two for loop. Means you have to interchange this for loop, and next you have to append. This matrix A B. So uh, I will check. I will write suppose uh, for R in result. Result I will print R. So enter the order of the matrix in the form x multiply y. So I have to write two two multiply three. Then enter element of matrix one element at a time in row by row. So I have to write for six seven eight. So six. Seven, eight, and then 
फाइव टू दैट इलेवन टू टेन इलेवन टू टेन सो दिस इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट मैट्रिक्स सो इनिशियली माई इनपुट इज दिस इन माई आउटपुट इट विल प्रिंट लाइक इन दिस वे सो सिक्स सेवन एट सिक्स सेवन एट इलेवन टू टेन नाउ आई विल मेक क्लियर दिस गाइज सो गाइज दिस इज द वे टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड देन सो आई हैव स्टोर्ड माई दिस नंबर दिस सिक्स सेवन एट इलेवन टू टेन इन दिस इन लाइक इन दिस वे सो आई हैव टू एपेंड मैट्रिक्स ए बी मीन्स मैट्रिक्स ए बी मीन्स इन सेल ए जीरो एंड बी जीरो सो सिक्स सिक्स इन दिस लिस्ट इन दिस वे सो इट विल इट विल एक्जीक्यूट लाइक इन दिस वे बट इट विल प्रिंट इन द वर्टिकल वे सो गाइज वाली यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर वन पॉइंट टू ट्रांसपोजर मैट्रिक्स यू हैव टू इंटरचेंज दिस फॉर लूप इंटरचेंज दिस फॉर लूप सो दिस इज वाली मैथ टू ट्रांसपोजर मैट्रिक्स So guys, practice this code uh, again. Again, you will definitely understand this code. So this is how you can transpose any matrix. Now, guys, I hope you have understood this question. So I will move to next question. Write a program to add two matrices. So guys, this is first matrices and this is second matrices. the dimension or order of both matrices should be equal so that you can add these two matrices so 6 plus 1 equals to 7 7 plus 10 equals to 17 8 plus 6 equals to 14 like this so you have to add these two matrices so guys if you can solve this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys i will do the code now so just like is above i will write i n j equals to input enter the order or dimension you can add anything into the dimension of the matrix in the form x multiply by y and then you have to split x and y dot split so this is delimiter and then uh, suppose i have a two list two empty list one is matrix 1 and and there is matrix 2 because now i have two matrices and then just like as above enter element of first matrix one element one element at a time and Row by row, slash n, and then for a in range integer of i. So these all are just like as above. I have one empty list, and then for b in range integer of j, I will write a list dot append. I have to append input input from user, and then finally I have to append my list in first matrix matrix one LST. So this is the way to take input from the user. Now for second matrices I have to write print. Enter element of second matrix. One element at a time, and row by row slash n. So now I have to write for a in range integer of i. Just like as I have one empty list, and then for b. in range i have to write integer of j and then i have to append user input and then now i have to append this list in second matrix my second matrix is mat2 dot append lst 
so this is the first matrix and this is the second matrix now i have to add these two matrices so how to add this matrix i will write print statement addition of matrix plus n now guys result equals to mpt list and then for a in range i have to write integer of i and then i have one mpt list for b in range integer of j now to add a matrix i have to write matrix 1 a b plus equals to matrix 2 a b so what is this so this is just like as a plus equals to b means a equals to a plus b so this is the way to add two matrix and your answer will be stored in same a means in this case in matrix one so you have to append matrix one in this list so guys lst dot append matrix one a b and then finally you have to append same list in result append list to print result i have to write for r in a result print r so this is a same as just like as above so this is the way to take input from the user so this is the first matrix and this is the second matrix and this is the way to add two matrices so for a in range integer of i and for b in range integer j i will add these two matrices so my result will store in this a means this matrix one so i will append this matrix one in this list and finally i will append this list in this result so if i execute this code so into the dimension of the matrix in the form x by y dimension matrix is 2 by 3 so 2 multiply 3 so enter element of first matrix one element at a time in row by row so i have to write 6 7 8 6 7 8 and then 11 2 10 11 2 10 and then enter element of second matrix one element at a time in row by row so i have to write 1 10 6 1 10 6 and then 2 5 3 2 5 3 so addition of matrices 7 17 14 13 7 3 you can check from here 7 17 14 and 13 7 13 so this is the way to add two matrices i think it is uh, very simple you can write uh, you can add these matrices in other way also but uh, this is very easy way to add two matrices and also this is very easy way to transpose any matrices so guys I hope you have understood this question so now I will move to next question so guys write a program to multiply two matrices this is a little bit tricky question so this is uh, one matrices and this is second matrices so to multiply this matrix you have to multiply this row by this column and this row by this column like this so one multiply by six plus 3 multiply by 1 plus 2 multiply by 3 like this so in this way 2 multiply by 6 plus 4 multiply by 1 plus 1 multiply by 3 like this so this is matrix multiplication and the order of this matrix is 2 by 3 and the order of second matrix is 3 by 2 and to multiply these two matrices this will be equal this and this will be equal means number of row should be number of columns should be equal to number of row here so 3 equals to 3 
so there are three column you can see here one two three and there are two row so one two three and one two three this will be equal then only your matrices will be multiplied so guys if you can do this question pause the video and solve it okay i hope you have solved this question if not don't worry guys now i will do the code so i will make one function no no i will make i will uh, take the input from the user the dimension of two matrices so suppose i comma j equals to input you can see here dimension of these matrices and dimension of these matrices are different so you have to take input from the user the dimension of both matrices so input into the dimension of the first matrix in the form x y dot split you have to split by delimiter is into and then next suppose k and l input enter the dimension of the second matrix in the form x multiply by y dot split l i t split multiply now guys just like as above i should have two mpt list matrix 1 and matrix 2 and then you can see here this and this will be equal so this j and this case will be equal if not then uh, it will not get multiplied so i have to write if integer integer of j isn't equal to sorry isn't equal to integer of k then uh, you have to print one message print invalid order of the matrix or your matrix cannot be multiplied this matrix cannot be multiplied you can add anything any message here okay but if these are equal then you have to write some code here so now i will write print inter element of first matrix matris matrix one element at or time in row by row plus m and then just like as above for a in range integer of i i have one input list so this is same just like as above for b in range integer of j i have to write i have to append input from the user in list so input so i will append input in this list and uh, finally i have to append list in first matrix matrix one and then i have to write for second matrix also enter element of second matrix one element element at or time and row by row so for a in range integer of i and then i have one empty list lst lst and then for b in range integer of j i have to append 
user input in this list and finally I have to append this list in second matrix matrix 2 dot append list so this is same just like above to enter element of first matrix and enter element of second matrix and now guys let me write the result first of all I will assign this result by 0 0 0 so I will assign the result is result is suppose it's like 0 in two dimensions area 0 0 0 0 like this so for a in range integer of i i have one mpt list and then for b in range integer of j i have to append 0 in list and then finally i have to append list in result rst so i have to append append initially 0 in my result and then i can write for a so this is little bit tricky now for a in range length of matrix 1 for b in range length of matrix 2 0 and then for c in range length of matrix 2 so what is this you can see here i have to multiply this by this this by this this by this like this so you have to write for loop like in this way so for a in range the length means to calculate the length of this matrix and the length of matrix 2 0 means the first element of this matrix so now i have to multiply result a b a b plus equals to matrix 1 a c multiply by matrix 2 c b so guys what is this so if you implement this code in your copy this is nothing but the correct way to multiply row by column means to multiply two matrices so guys you can check this code in your copy because um, it is very difficult to explain this code to you guys i hope uh, you will understand when you try to implement this in copy now finally i will print for r in result also i have to write one message here suppose print the resultant resultant matrix is slash n I have to write printer so let me first check shift enter so in the dimension of the first matrix in the form x by y my dimension of the first matrix is 2 by 3 so I have to write 2 by 3 and then my dimension of second matrix is 3 by 2 suppose if I give here something like suppose 4 by 2 you can see here this 3 and this 4 is not same so it will give this matrix cannot be multiplied but it will return me the, the result matrix is this so I have to write this print statement in this function also so I can select this and press tab now suppose my dimension of first matrix is 3 by 2 and then my dimension second matrix suppose 4 by 1 so this 2 and this 4 is not same so it will return this matrix cannot be multiplied okay now in an inter dimension of first matrix in the form x by y suppose 2 by 3 2 by 3 and inter dimension second matrix in the form x by y 3 by 2 
थ्री बाई टू इन एलिमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स वन इलिमेंट एट टाइम एंड रो बाई रो सो आई हैव टू राइट वन थ्री टू वन थ्री टू एंड देन टू फोर वन टू फोर वन एंड देन इंटर इलिमेंट ऑफ सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स वन इलिमेंट एट टाइम एंड रो बाई रो सो आई हैव टू राइट सिक्स टू वन थ्री सिक्स टू वन थ्री एंड देन आई हैव टू राइट थ्री टू थ्री टू सो ओके आई हैव वन इडर लिस्ट इंडेक्स आउट ऑफ रेंज सो लेट मी चेक फर्स्ट ओके गाइज आई हैव यूज मिस्टेक इन माई कोड I am so much sorry, guys. I have to write uh, since my dimension of first matrix is i j, so I have to write for n j int i and int j. But I have to write in second matrix k l, not i j. So I have to write here k l for n range k, and then for b in range l. And then, guys, if my two dimension of two matrix is two by three and three by two, my the, the Dimension of my output will be two by two. This first and this two means my dimension of output will be this i multiplied by l. So I have to write here in result i and l, l, and then also okay. This is fine. So you have to remember this point. This is my use, use, use mistake. So guys, uh, so this is the element of first matrix. I have to write. integer of i and integer of j because dimension of first matrix is stored in i j and the dimension of second matrix is stored in k l so i have to write k l and then my result will be in this dimension 2 by 2 so i and l so i have to write i and l here now i hope it will work so shift enter So in the dimension of first matrix in the form x multiply so two multiply by three, two multiply by three, and uh, three multiply by two, three multiply by two in the element of first matrix. So one three two, one three two, and then suppose two four one yes two four one, two four one, and then the second matrix. Six two one three three two, six two, six two one three, six two one three, and three two. So three two. Okay, again this index out of range. Guys, I have to write matrix two here. I have written two in square bracket. I have to write matrix two here. If I now I will do very fast, guys, because I will not take your time so much. So two by three and three by two. One, I think this is the element. And the second matrix six two one three three two. Okay, guys. The result matrix is fifteen, fifteen, nineteen, eighteen. I hope it will match fifteen, fifteen, nineteen, eighteen. Thanks God. So guys, so this is little bit tricky to multiply two matrix. So this is the dimension of first matrix and second matrix, and uh, your dimension of this and this will be equal, and uh, your output will be in this dimension two by two. So two by two. You have to remember this point. So this is the first uh, way means this is the first matrix from the user and this is the second matrix from the user and I have initially assigned a result by zero. Finally, I have added my what means I have multiplied matrix and I have appended my result. Means I have replaced my zero value to some uh, value means output value and finally I have print my result. Okay, guys. I hope you have understood this question. 
सो टेल मी गाइज हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू हैव सॉल्व डू कॉमेंट गाइज सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड वन सो मोर चैलेंजेस डू कॉमेंट एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल If not please guys do it subscribe my channel and share it to your friends challenge your friend to do code in python so guys till then see you and goodbye